When talking baseball, some of the questions that always cause arguments can be answered by just applying sabermetrics. The study of baseball statistics, providing you have two things. One, the data needed for applying the proper formula, and two, the formula. The baseball abstract can show you many of these. For instance, I asked author Bill James if the designated hitter rule in the American League takes strategy out of the game. Now, it's true that there are many more sacrifice hits in the National League than there are in the American League, and if you consider a sacrifice hit to be in and of itself strategic, then it takes strategy out of the game. But there's a, a larger standard deviation of sacrifice hits in the American League, which means that there's more of a difference of opinion in the American League than in the National about when one should use the sacrifice punt. So in my opinion, it's added strategy to the game. If you've got a, a 250 hitter at the plate as opposed to a 140 hitter, you, there's a heck of a lot more things that you can do. The situation of a batter at the plate who's hitting 140, to my way of viewing the game, severely limits your strategic options. So I don't think that it takes strategy out of the game. I think it adds strategy to the game. Here's another one. I asked Dallas Adams at what age is a baseball player considered to be in his prime. Some sports writer asked this of Stan Musial, and he reported that in his opinion it was age 28 to age 32. And I suppose Musial was probably about age 31 at the time. In actual fact, every study that we've done seems to indicate that about age 27 is the peak, and players fall off fairly rapidly after age 27, and very rapidly after age 32. Here's a tough one. Do batting averages increase or decrease while playing on the turf? I've seen answers both ways on that. Some saying that batting averages go up on turf and some saying that batting averages go down. I've not made a study of it. The Elias baseball analyst points out that in the National League last year, every single team hit for a higher average on grass than they did on turf. However, that's somewhat misleading because the best pitcher's park in the league is the Astrodome and the best hitter's parks are Atlanta and uh, Chicago. Chicago, which are grass fields. And that has comparatively little to do with there being grass or turf. There are many other factors which uh, mm -hmm. come into play. It would be interesting to know exactly what the differences are. There certainly are many differences, but it's hard to know exactly what they are. And does the home stadium that a ball player plays in have an effect on his statistics? Yeah, that's a big thing. The home park effects can have a big influence on statistics. Sure, look at the Houston Astros building around pitching and fielding as opposed to Boston building around right-hand power hitting. Oh, yes. And let's not forget the most popular questions. Who is the best player in the game today? I would say Cal Ripken. I vote the same. And finally, who is the greatest of all time? I'll opt for Babe Ruth. Right. You have to opt for Babe Ruth. He dominated the game while he was active as no one else ever has. Right, and he, he was a darn good pitcher to boot. With sabermetricians Dallas Adams, statistical expert, and Bill James, author of the annual bestseller, The Baseball Abstract, I'm specialist Tracy Tebow, AFN Sports.